The Vetus Bow Pro series of thrusters runs from 30 all the way up to 300 kg force. It's a brushless engine, which means you can run at full power for at least 10 minutes. That power is also delivered from 0 to 100%, which makes maneuvering so much easier. A brushless engine also doesn't generate carbon dust, which was a very common complaint with old-fashioned DC thrusters. The focus of this video is on the control panels. The control panel enables you to deliver that power from 0 to 100% and to stop and start the system. The control panel also informs you about the health of your system. For instance, a low voltage alarm might appear, which will protect your batteries from being discharged too far, which will damage them. There's also a couple of fuses in the system and sometimes you get a no communication alarm and we will show you how to take care of those. For normal operation, make sure that the main switch is on and press the on button twice within five seconds. And then the system is ready to operate. To shut down the system, press the off on button for two seconds and the system will stop. If you push the on button only once, the system will not respond. This is called the child lock. You have to push the button twice. So with a double tap, twice on the on button, the system will start up. Now, if you have multiple steering stations, you don't only want control at one station at a time. So now the left station is enabled. To enable the right hand station, maybe the uh, flybridge, Push the on off button twice and the system will respond. And now the other panel is deactivated. To regain control, push the on off button twice. And now you have control on the left hand station and the right hand station is switched off. And to switch off the system, push the on off button for two seconds. Because of the extremely long runtime of about 10 minutes before the system starts to rev down, we've built in a voltage protection. If your batteries are drained too far, they might be damaged. So if the voltage goes down too far, an alarm will sound. This will be shown on the bow Pro itself and also on the control panel. Once you have recharged your batteries, switch off the system by pushing the on off button for two seconds. Then you can reboot once the voltage is high enough and the system will operate as normal. A no communication error can appear. For instance, if there is a problem with the network when one of the cables is broken. You can recognize a no communication error because the two LEDs start to blink in a very rapid mode. Once the system is restored, push the on off button for two seconds to shut down, reboot, and then the system will operate normal again. Usually a no communication error is caused because the main switch for the thruster is not switched on. Make sure that you switch on the main switches for both the thruster and the control panel. If that doesn't help, check the two fuses, see the drawing on the left, if they are both in good order. In this video we've looked at normal operation. To start the system, press the on button twice. If you don't get a response from the system, or you get the no communication alarm, check if all of the main switches are on, both for the dashboard, but also for the thruster. If both of the switches are on, check if the fuses that are under the blue cover are both intact. We've also looked at the low voltage alarm. If your batteries are drained too far, they're protected by the bow pro. Make sure the batteries are charged. Switch the system off by pushing the on off button for two seconds. Start it back up and you will have full control again. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a wonderful season out on the water.